Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I decided it was time to cycle out some of my products in my project pan. There are unfortunately a few products that I would just like to be done with at this point. It's definitely kind of been slow getting through these certain products and I just don't really want to put my time into using these products anymore when I could be using up something that I genuinely enjoy and have a better chance of actually completely finishing. You know, everyone's rules for Project Pan are unique to them and I'm just deciding that this is what I would like to do. This also isn't going to be a completely Project Pan focused video. I'm also just getting ready. There are some categories of products that I just am not focusing on panning. I'm just kind of using what I would like to use. I just refreshed my hair so I have to clip it up while it you know dries a little bit so the first two products I'm officially saying bye to even though there are a few more uses in there but they're really close to being totally finished this is the Smashbox photo finish primerizer primer primer plus moisturizer could have totally finished this one I mean it was kind of shaken up a little bit but there's like this much product left in there it could be finished I just really, I mean, let me put on a little bit right now just for the heck of it. But the fact that it's been basically at that amount for the whole time I've been doing my project pan and I really haven't made much headway with it, it just kind of shows me that this product is not something that I really think about using or care to use. It's not you know, making a huge difference in my makeup routine. The other product is the Everyday Humans Resting Beach Face SPF 30. There are just other sunscreens in my collection that I reach for more often. This one also technically expired back in February and using expired SPF, although I personally would still use it. A lot of people do like to follow the expiration dates on sunscreens. They do tend to deteriorate from my understanding. So I am replacing my SPF. Also, just the fact that it is getting warmer. I do tend to spend a little bit more time outside during these months. I mean, I'm gardening again, which the summertime is just my time to shine. But the sunscreen that I'm gonna be focusing on, at least for now, that I totally could see myself using up, it's gorgeous on the skin, obviously. Like, does not leave a white cast. Looks very hydrating, makes my skin look really fresh. Is the Cause RX Vitamin E Vitalizing Sunscreen, and this has an SPF of 50. So it's a little stronger than my everyday humans. And then this sunscreen I have had for a little while. Oh, see, okay, this also expired in February, um, but this is the Salt and Stone SPF 30. It is pretty thick, but I think I'm going to try and use this as much as possible on my body. Oh, I hope I just didn't ruin my top. I probably should have done this before I got dressed, but just kind of getting those areas that are exposed. I think that's a good way to use up some of your sunscreens. The salt and stone one is mineral based, and I believe that the Cosar X one is chemical based. It doesn't specifically say, but this one is made with zinc oxide and the Cosar X one is not. Another SPF I'm still trying to make my way through is the Say Sun Visor Sheer Moisturizer SPF 35. Um, I adore this product and honestly the only reason why I haven't finished it fully is because I don't want to be without it. Like I'm not using it because I love it so much and I don't want it to end. But I know that this is a product that I will be repurchasing. I just need to get over that and just use it up. So I don't think I ever had a foundation type product I was trying to actively use up. I think I could have a pretty good chance of using up the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. I wear mine in the shade 25 Ocean Park. I do think that this might be a little bit warm for me today. I think that that shade does match me a little bit better in the summertime. This one too, the Sephora S Clean Clean Glowing Skin Foundation. This also looks like it might be a little bit deep for me. Another product I'd like to add in the rotation is the In Beauty Project Face Glaze. A lot of people adore this product. I saw the other day, uh, Dave's Day, I think, on Instagram. Um, she mixed this product in with her NYX Bare Skin Concealer. Is that called Bare Skin? No, it's called the Concealer Serum, I think, and it looked gorgeous. I love that concealer. I would love to try 
that with this product. I just think that this is overall supposed to be a really good product and I do really enjoy it the way that it looks on my skin. For foundation today, I wanna go in with the Say It Slip Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 35. Technically, this product actually expired back in April. Kind of interesting, because I'm pretty sure that I got this product around the same time that I got the SPF and the SPF seems to have a longer shelf life maybe, but I'm not really actually using it for the sunscreen. I already have SPF on my skin. I have to consider what products I wanna to take to the beach. Justin and I are gonna be at the beach for pretty much a week, so I need to start getting together the products that I would wanna bring. This seems like a good contender, but I just worry that it won't be deep enough with like all the sun I'm going to be getting. So I think I'm officially going to abandon trying to finish up my Fenty Beauty and my Rare Beauty concealers. These brands are great brands. Rare Beauty is definitely up there with like my favorite makeup brands. The concealer I always really enjoyed and it is a concealer that I wouldn't mind being in my collection again. I have a lot left of both of these products unfortunately. I do feel like the Rare Beauty one doesn't perform as well as it did when I first got it so that kind of makes me not use it as often as I would like um, and then the Fenty Beauty concealer it is just really heavy for what I usually like to do for my makeup if I want a heavier more full coverage base I will usually get that coverage from my foundation and like to stick to more of a medium coverage concealer the concealer that I pulled out that I would like to focus on is my Kaja don't settle concealer just sniffing it to do a little sniff test. Ooh, this expired maybe in 2021. Does that sound right? Oh no, I hope that this didn't expire in 2021, but it might have. Using the shade Sweet Toast, this is a little darker than I would have used today. I didn't know that going in, that it was probably gonna be a little bit of a deeper shade because I knew that this was going to run a little deep. This used to be one of my favorite concealers. Um, not that it isn't anymore, but yeah, I just don't reach for it that often. I was really trying to use up my Kosas Revealer Concealer, which I did completely use up. The one I used up was in the shade 4.5. I think I have a pretty good chance of using up the shade 5 that I have, but I figured I would throw in the Kaja Don't Settle Concealer into the mix. This one is a really good one. Another concealer that I love is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer, and I would put a lot of focus into finishing up this concealer as well. However, they don't make this concealer anymore, which is so strange. And I kind of feel like there's not really a point in me trying to finish up that concealer completely when there are other concealers that I can kind of test drive. Like obviously if the Bare Skin Concealer was still available and I could repurchase it, I probably would try and use that one up as much as possible and then repurchase a new one when I'm ready to buy new makeup again, of course. But I kind of feel like this is a good opportunity for me to use as much of a product as possible to really get my full opinion on it and then just kind of have that experience to look back on when I decide, you know, if this is a product I would like to repurchase or not. I kind of have intentions to build my capsule collection next year. I think unfortunately it will be bigger than I originally wanted it to be just because of the rate that I do accumulate makeup even when I'm not purchasing it. But from here on out, I really only wanna be spending my money on makeup that I truly trust that I am using regularly and think like I would love to repurchase this when I'm finished with it. My NYX Lift and Snatch is one of them. Technically, I did already repurchase my NYX Lift and Snatch. I kind of thought I was on the tail end of this finishing and it is just so good, it's so perfect. I would just have to see if that would be like more of a permanent shade for me. But I am just completely shocked by how long this product has lasted. It is really so surprising how much use I've been able to get out of this product for years I would say and yeah my brows just come out good every single time I really really need to finish these up I feel like I would be justified if I threw these both away this is my favorite tinted brow gel ever I ended up with two of them I think because I lost one so I had a backup um, sometimes Kosa sends me PR but I had a backup I opened it up and then I found the other one so I have two of them opened they both are past their expiration date for sure. I added rubbing alcohol in both of them just to, I don't know, 
kill any bacteria that might be in there and try and extend it a little bit but it does smell a little like kombucha i think some of you guys have also mentioned that yours tend to smell too i think that the revealer concealer from kosas also sometimes will smell in my opinion a little bit like turmeric but i think kosas makes some really quality products do i think that they could maybe add a little bit of preservatives in there i think so i think so i'm officially going to abandon my Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer in Macchiato. I actually did think I was going to do a better job than this, but I do remember when there was a much tinier little circle of pan. So I did as well as I could, but I'm getting to the point where I just do not like using that product anymore and I would like to use something else. A product that I know I love are my elf putty bronzers this one is in honey drip which i probably could have used a few months ago really regularly and then this one is in golden days both are pretty well loved already so i feel really good about bringing these products in i kind of want to do another makeup cleaning video i have a few products that i definitely want to clean up and I feel like it would be worth it for me to kind of give myself a fresh layer of my putty bronzers. But I am very excited to start focusing on these. There really isn't a time where I use them where I regret using it. It just always looks so good. And I love that I have so many favorites from the drugstore. Like so many products that I would just repurchase over and over again. Like, sure, I'll spend $9 on a brow pen that's gonna last me two years that I love. Or is it like $12? I don't know. Sometimes drugstore makeup can actually be kind of expensive. So yeah, really very happy about the e.l.f. Putty bronzers. I'm going to do a little bit of eyeshadow next. I pulled out these Sephora liquid eyeshadows that I have. Sometimes Sephora likes to do that thing where they discontinue products regularly. My camera stopped recording, so I had to finish this eye really quick. This is in the shade of Russet. Sometimes Sephora likes to do that thing where they discontinue products. You know, ones that are good. I hope I don't regret not using eyeshadow primer, but I just didn't feel like grabbing it. I'm just going in with my Celestial eyeshadow. I kind of feel like I used a little too much. I thought going in with a brush would will make it less intense. I kind of just wanted a little wash of shimmer, but that's fine. I need to start using a lash treatment on these or maybe just castor oil. And then in a couple of weeks when my lashes are nice and strong, I need to pull out my lash kit and give myself a little lash lift. I've done it before. It works pretty well at home. I'm still using my first tube of the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara just can't stop using it. I thought I was ready to swap it for a new tube and I do have a new one. It's waiting, but I really just want to use this one until I just feel like I cannot use it anymore. I feel like my face looks really tan. Rare Beauty sent me their entire line of the liquid blushes. I could not believe it when I opened up the box, but I have been loving these shades. Virtue, worth, and love. They're just so, so cute. They're such good shades. I'm going in with Virtue today. I feel like my base makeup might be a little bit too deep for me at the moment. It's like not too bad, but it's, you know, not the best. So I'm just using the lightest shade so we don't deepen things up too much more. I feel like a lot of the Rare Beauty blushes, especially the most recent newer ones that they launched, like it's like Hope, Courage, one of the other ones. Those felt really purple and like mauve-y. And I love how these ones are a little bit warmer. You see a little bit more red or like orange in them. They're so good. They're so cute. I know I really don't have any desire to like do review videos anymore and things like that, but I kind of do think that swatch videos are still pretty helpful. I know regardless, like people are going to desire these blushes. And I just think like a good old fashioned swatch video of everything swatched out on my skin tone is going to really help people kind of decide and narrow down the exact one that they want and be really happy with their purchase to the point where they 
hopefully don't feel the need to try the other shades, you know? I haven't used these Urban Decay lip liners in so, so long. We have 1993, Manic, Uptight, and then Rush. Rush, I think, has a little bit of sparkle to it. I'm gonna not use that one. Kind of don't mind Manic. I just sharpen them really, really sharp. These are kind of old, so I wanted to give them a good sharpen so that they would be a little fresher. I have one lip product that I would like to see myself finish. It is old. It kind of grosses me out to keep using it because it's like at the very bottom of a very old lipstick or lip gloss. But this is the Milani Fruit Fetish Raspberry Peach Lip Oil. And I use this one so often. I don't keep it in my bag as much as I used to just because, you know, I've cycled out some other lip products. This is a really, really cute combo, but I think I actually might throw this back in my bag because it is pretty dang cute. And then I have three setting sprays. I'm really, really close to using up the Catrice Ultra Last Fixing Spray. If you can see how much I have, it's kind of like right here. Really close to using this up, I think, because it's literally so small. This is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Don't love this one as much, but I have had it for a while. Um, there's about this much left. I feel like I could fully finish it. And then I've also had this one for a while. I used this one really, really regularly. I used to really love it. This is the Absolute New York Pro Long Setting Spray. I probably have about that much left, I'd say. Can't really tell in the bottle too much, but that's just kind of where I'm gauging. I really love the spray on this as well. It's a really nice, fine mist, and I always really liked the way that it made my makeup look immediately after spraying it and how it made my makeup last. Justin and I are gonna try a new ramen place. We're really, really excited about it. Here's the final look. I'm really, really excited to have some new makeups cycled in and to kind of just let go of some of those other products that I've been holding on to that I haven't really been enjoying using and just kind of let go of that pressure that they've been causing me. I expect to see an empties video really, really soon. I actually have kept my empties from the past two years. Well, technically three years because I haven't like sat down and recorded my year three of empties, but I have kept all of these empties for the past three years and I plan on recycling them at Sephora. I just realized that there's a local Sephora near me that does accept empty products um, to recycle. The closest one used to be like two hours away and I had been planning a trip to go there to recycle my products or my empties, but there is one local now. So I really, really wanna do that. Just get this giant trash bag of trash out of my house, but to actually like properly get them recycled. I know I made two videos after taking like a two month break and the last video I filmed was probably like about a month ago at this point. Um, I've just been really busy and I know I opened up in my first video back talking about my diagnosis with ADHD and I've just kind of been, you know, on the journey of like figuring out what is working for me and also have been just really busy with work and like other things going on in my life. So although I would really love to get into a better habit with filming, I just cannot put that pressure on myself right now. Although there are so many things that I wanna film, but I'm hoping to kind of get some of these actually done. I'm in the middle too of filming a kind of week in my life vlog. So I do hope that the momentum stays, but I also understand that it is just me and what I do sometimes that I might not, you know, be as regular with uploading as I would like to be. But regardless though, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. That is going to be it from me today though. Thank you all so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully I will see you next time.